Hello there, this is Kathy Roseville Jonas, licensed clinical social worker. And this is part four of my organ psilocybin video series where I'm talking about taking the steps to become a licensed facilitator for psilocybin healing services and also planning to open up a service center, that's what they're calling them, a healing center in Oregon when it becomes legalized to do so. So Oregon is accepting applications at the beginning of January of 2023, which is about two months away. And there's a lot of steps involved in this whole thing. And you can refer to some of my other videos of some of that background information. So today's a little update uh, about where things are. So in my case, I'm a very small business owner. I have a few businesses. I have my counseling and coaching practice and I have Eugene Neurofeedback, which we have some staff that support us. You can learn more about that by visiting the Eugene Neurofeedback Dot com website also epic healing eugene talks about neurofeedback being used as an integrative tool for psychedelic healing and preparation support so i have met with the landlord of the business uh that i rent in so i um have three offices that I rent that are in a professional building. So in order to get to step one of opening up a service center, you have to get a land use permit. So that means contacting your landlord of where you're renting and making sure that it's okay to actually provide psilocybin healing services where you are and another thing is it cannot be a residence in the city limits of eugene and other city limits it has to be zoned commercial residential so that's another criteria and that's put a lot of pressure on a lot of people that were hoping to be able to offer this service in their beautiful homes and with their yards and all that. So in order to do that, you'd have to go into a rural area, which is less restrictive. But for those people that don't have that, that means actually having to buy a, a facility or, you know, to create this whole thing. So there's a lot of things going on here that make this uh, very difficult. Also, financially, it's very difficult. It's not a big money maker for small business owners at this point, but it's also um, the right thing to do if for those people that feel passionate about doing deep healing work with others. So in my case, I have experience with working with ketamine, the disassociative hallucinogenic, and doing very deep healing work with others with that short acting uh, hallucinogen. And it is off label use for using it for healing for depression, PTSD, anxiety. However, it is quite effective, at least I'll say, it's a gateway to peeling off that really thick onion part of the personal growth path. You know, everybody's probably heard about the onion analogy of all these layers. I like to think about that crunchy outer skin of the onion. And so it takes a lot to start breaking through old patterns. And that's why neural feedback again is helpful. Also mindfulness practices, self-care practices. So I just wanted to give an update, talk to the landlord. He's okay with it. Of course, he says that he'll also wants the right, of course, to rescind his permission in case there's problems. So that makes me want to make sure I'm doing better with my screening, projecting out, uh, parking, and all those kinds of things. But step one is done. My landlord says, okay. All right. So that's all for today, or at least for this video. Take good care.